In this paper, we delve into the process of weak to strong learning, a method that involves training a strong student model using weak supervision. We begin by creating a weak supervisor, which is achieved by fine-tuning small pre-trained models on ground truth labels. We then generate weak labels using the weak model's predictions on a held-out set of examples. Next, we train a strong student model using the weak labels generated. We compare the performance of this strong student model with the performance of the weak supervisor. To establish a performance ceiling, we also fine-tune a strong model using ground truth labels. This allows us to compare the performance of the strong student model with the best possible performance. We define the performance gap recovered, PGR as the fraction of the performance gap between the weak and strong ceiling models that can be recovered with weak supervision. We use PGR to evaluate the effectiveness of weak to strong learning. This setup can be studied with any pair of weak and strong models, making it easy to study scaling laws without requiring access to expensive state-of-the-art models. It also does not require working with humans, allowing for fast feedback loops. Furthermore, it can be studied for any task of interest making it easy to empirically test across a wide range of settings. However, there are limitations to this setup. It still has important disanalogies to the ultimate problem of aligning superhuman models. Future superhuman models may have salient representations of human behaviors, but the strong models may not have learned features relevant for imitating weak model predictions. Additionally, the pre-training data implicitly contain supervision from humans, making it easier to elicit strong models capabilities in the current setup compared to how superhuman models might learn in the future. Despite these limitations, we have made significant strides in improving weak to strong learning. We have tested the idea of bootstrapping, where we align slightly superhuman models first and then use them to align even smarter models. This approach improves weak to strong generalization, especially for larger student models. We have also introduced an auxiliary confidence loss term to the standard cross-entropy objective, which improves weak to strong generalization on natural language processing tasks, especially for large gaps in compute between weak and strong models. Our achievements include finding that in most settings, strong student models trained with weak supervision outperform their weak supervisors, recovering more than 20% of the performance gap between the weak and strong ceiling models. We have also shown that generative fine-tuning on relevant data can improve weak to strong generalization in the reward modeling setting by approximately 10 to 20 percent. Furthermore, we have demonstrated that fine-tuning the strong model on weak labels and then linear probing with ground truth labels can improve weak to strong generalization on natural language processing tasks, closing 60 percent of the gap between ground truth linear probing and fine-tuning.